really excited. One time, cool. One time, okay. That's all. Anybody that's can do this business. <laughs> yeah, right. Isn't that? It's just like us. Ah, that's it's awesome. But thanks, Steph. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's what we um, always say. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the bangs. It, I got bangs, and they're I just was clearly. You look so different. Oh, they're Tammy. It's, I got them after her. Anyways, they're they're interfering. They're very cute. They're extremely cute and you will get used to them, but then don't get the lisp going because of the retainer. Don't get all that going with the bangs. Anyway, Christine lives in Pennsylvania. She and I see each other every convention and, um, and we were partners two mm -hmm. conventions ago, three conventions ago, and just a joy and a pleasure. Um, and, I'm not into astrology. I'm really, I'm not. I know very, very little, if anything. But I do know she's a fellow Aquarius. And I think she just popped up. Oh, no, there she is. She switched to the right hand corner. And so I thought, no wonder I really like her, like her energy, her spirit. She's authentic. She's real. And um, when I asked her, I said, what would you like to share tonight? Is there anything that like your team is dealing with? Or, And she said, I have huge passion for belief and the law of attraction. And I was like, wow, I need to hear that, you know, because I do believe that in which we focus on grows. So without further ado, Christine McCoy is from Pennsylvania. She is an executive and um, she has huge passion for what we have. So please take it away. Uh, I'm so glad that you asked me to do this and it couldn't have come at a better time because uh, I had a, a chat with Steph in Jamaica and we were talking about how we're, you know, all trying to get back to where we were and I had zero accounts when we were in Jamaica and now I have two, uh, one girl that's going to hit manager as we speak and another girl who's about to hit manager probably by tomorrow. So it is just one of those things that where your attention goes, energy always flows and it really is all about belief. If you have doubt I mean, you're allowed to doubt. You're allowed to say, I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Um, because when I left Jamaica, I was like, I, I, I'm definitely qualifying and I'm qualifying this month. And I did. Like, we have three months to qualify. <laughs> and when I left Jamaica, I was like, I'm not sure how I'm going to get these distributors, but I'm going to get them. And now here I have two managers. Um it really is all about what you believe. And it really is that law of attraction. And I have been, you know, people always said, do you say your I am, you know, statements? Do you do affirmations? And to me, when I first came in this, it was always like, you know, I am enough or, you know, I am beautiful or I am loved. I am, I am worthy. Like, and those are all amazing. And if you need to say them, please, by all means, like look in the mirror and say these things. But to me, it's so much more than that. It is now like I've been doing abundance affirmations because um, I'm just I'm a very honest person. And I hope it's OK that I share what I did last year. I did not run this business properly. I. 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 Made myself broke, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> to get that trip last year, I probably could have bought a trip to Jamaica. Um, yes, I earned it, but I helped so many people, you know, get things to help me get things. And it was an eye opener when I maxed out a credit card and I swore I would never use credit cards um, again because I got into trouble with credit cards years ago. And with things being the way that they are with Zingular, I had no business maxing out a credit card. Um I had a come to Jesus kind of moment and decided that I need to run my business completely differently this year if I want to, um, you know, earn this trip. It has to happen organically. It cannot be from, I'm not saying I won't help people, but it cannot be from what I did last year. Um, and I also felt a little manipulative last year. 
because we had that pressure on us to do these things and to, you know, earn the trips. And I, and I'm, I'm not saying not to help people, but I maxed out a credit card, made myself broke last year. And I had a lot of praying moments and I had a lot of, you know, affirmation moments and a lot of, uh, mind work moments. And I felt like I needed to do things completely differently. So I am starting all over, um, this qualifying year. And I'm happy to say that it's starting to, you know, with this new mindset that I have, it's really, this is not what I was going to talk about tonight, but I feel really compelled to say these things. Um, it really is popping off again. And, and you know why? Because I believe that they can. And I believe that I was meant to do this business. I mean, before Jamaica, I was saying, if I don't, if things don't work out for me, I need to go find another job. And I have a picture of Jesus here in my office. And I remember looking at him and I remember saying, why would you bring me to this business only to have me, you know, fail? Like, I fell all the way back to gold manager and there's nothing wrong with being a gold manager. I'm certainly not putting any gold manager down. It's an amazing place to be. It's some nice money. But when you are used to making executive money and you go back to gold manager, it's not a good place to be. So I knew I needed to change some, some things and I didn't want to go find another job because I love Zingular and I love everything about it. And I'm good at it. And here I needed to have confidence in me. <laughs> I think I gave that up for a little bit and things are quite different. And I, I know I have like posture now. I have confidence now. I know now that I'm getting back there no matter what happens. This is my year. This is my season. 2024, my word was growth and it's happening. <laughs> Do you have so any cool. specific questions for me? I, I do. Um, first, I just appreciate you being so honest with us. Like, I really appreciate that because what I know is that you're not alone. Um, and I've never made one of those trips. But what I do know is I've spoken to a lot of people and and pe you're not alone. You weren't alone. And I just appreciate you being real with us. Um, I would say as it relates to belief as it relates to the law of attraction what are you reading what are you like what even opened up that window that door of law of attraction and how are you doing that daily like how did this come about well i found out about the secret in um mm. like pretty much when the book came out oprah had it on her show and i was in a miserable marriage at the time and I was like, this is the secret. This is the way to get me out of this miser miserable marriage. I uh, was really a, like a kept woman. I My um, ex-husband is 10 years older than me. And he was always more like my father than my partner. And mm -hmm. I, oh, in fact, I made all my passwords. All my passwords were like the word escape and like numbers because I always wanted to escape my life. And mm -hmm. it's so funny that you know, I remembered this secret. I read the book, but I didn't, I didn't really know how to apply it. And it was only when I came into this business that I, you know, found out about it again. And I was like, I, I know about this. And what I've learned is that you attract what you are, mm. not what you want. So you can say all day, like, you know, I, I want to be executive, but if you are saying that on, on, you know, one side of the coin and you're flipping the coin and you're saying, yeah, but nobody ever orders. And, you know, I don't think it could ever happen for me or this person canceled their subscription. When you, that cancels each other out. Like you have to believe that you are already an executive. You have, it's, and it says so in the Bible too, at Mark eleven twenty four. 24, you know, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you've already received it. So um, that's how you have to, to live. So I was saying things to myself. I found Louise Hay, who I just recently found out is dead. <laughs> I'm listening to this woman every morning and I'm, you know, I found out about her through Mel Robbins, who, you know, is, if you know who Mel Robbins is, she's a motivational speaker and just, I, I love Mel Robbins. 
and found out about Louise Hay. And I started listening to her mind affirmations and her uh, money affirmations and abundance affirmations every morning. And I only just found out that she's no longer with us. Like she died a couple of years ago, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that her messages aren't, you know, good. She also writes for Hallmark. She's like, like uh, she was a Christian woman and I listened to her. She has a lot of money affirmations out on YouTube. And usually before I do anything, before I grab my phone to uh, do Zingular or, you know, let the world in, I do these money affirmations. And sometimes I look at myself and Hoping she comes back. She may have to go out and go back again. You know, there she is. What a great message, though. I just, I would have never known. Every time I've sat next to her, she's just always a dear heart. You know, and and uh, I didn't even know she was an executive. What's so, amazing just... is we spent a lot of time together in Jamaica, Christine and yeah. I, on the beach and talking and stuff. So Did when you... you grabbed her, I was like, oh, my gosh, I totally got to know her on a whole another another level. Just so a so real kind heart. Yeah, a real kind heart. I think she popped off. She'll have to pop back. Hopefully she's she really can... down to earth. Did you guys catch the name of that lady that's dead? But something... I'm going to ask her. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there okay. she is. I don't know what happened. Are you? Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, we can hear. Yes. What was the name of the lady who does the Louise affirmations? Hay. Louise, Louise Hay. Hay. Louise Hay. Okay. And the secret I am aware of, but I've never listened to it all the way through. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, yeah. We, we were just kind of really, I think your ears must have been burning because we were just giving you a lot of nice compliments of oh, how down to earth you are and how real you are and how identifiable you are because sometimes you see people in places and you think how the heck but when people are just real then mm -hmm. you know you're not alone you know but to do things differently um so tell us about your two recent builders where did you find them are they new are they previous customers is it back office work is we're approaching I the end of the that, month. I could say that they were um, new enrollments. They're, I mean, they're fairly new, both in December. And oh, yeah. I talked to them about upgrading. And one is a store owner. Uh, she lived, her, her store is like right, I live right near her store. She has um, a gift shop and a furniture shop. She does like a lot of upcycling of furniture. So I shop in her store a lot and I don't even know how we got on this subject. We got on the subject of weight loss and um, I wound up showing her pictures and she was like, I need that. And I was like, yeah, everybody needs it. And um, she ordered and she's going to carry this in her store. So she just posted her picture today on her store page Um and she wants this. She wants, she has a full-time job and she has a, a, a store. And as we know, busy people get stuff done. Um, mm -hmm. She really wants to quit her full-time job. And I, I said, you know, let's do it. And I am hoping for more of a response on her picture, but I keep watching it. I keep babysitting her post. Then I have mm -hmm. another girl, Christy, who, um, came in last month and she said her mom wanted to try the trim sticks. And I said, well, I'm not sure if you realize this, but you know, selling for Zingular can be quite lucrative. They pay us generously in bonuses and commissions. And, you know, if your mom wants to do this, then I want you to take that sale. And she probably would like more than just trim sticks. And mm -hmm. so you just can't be afraid to talk to people. And she was like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm going to be an empty nester soon. And I was thinking about doing something, but I wasn't sure. 
And with Christy, there were all these signs of why she should do this. And she just hit manager tonight. So it is really amazing when somebody is meant to do this business, the signs are everywhere. And I love that about this business because I had a lot of people come in last year that were very broken people that, like I said, I had to help a lot. And when I was doing my mind work and praying, I said, like, I am asking you to bring people to me that aren't broken, people that want to do this, people that are um, confident people. And that's what I got. Wow, that's wonderful. And what an affirmation for that, you know, that in which we think um, grows and that what we think we are only grows in that respect as well. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone tell you a funny, funny, I want to tell you a funny meme. I saw this funny meme last year and I have a great sense of humor. I love to laugh. I love to be silly. This meme said, mm -hmm. you know, you keep sending me all these broken people. God, if I'm a mechanic, just tell me. <laughs> And I felt like that's I felt like that's where I was last year. Like <laughs> I felt like I was a mechanic. And you know, maybe it's because I was so wounded. You know, like I told you, I was in this horrible marriage and I was so wounded. And I sometimes think that, you know, we try to heal other people because we're trying to heal, you know, ourselves. We're trying to fix what's broken in us. Mm -hmm. And Feel like I've done all that work now. Like I don't feel broken anymore and I'm ready. <laughs> That's wonderful. How long have you been with Zingular? Like tell us your story a little bit. Like how how long have you have you been with the Zingular family? Okay. Well, it was just three years in May. And I was, you know, I came in during COVID time. So of course I was lucky enough to go, you know, right up to the top. <laughs> and then I, you know, I kept hearing about people falling behind. And I was like, how does that happen? That's never going to happen to me. And guess what? It happened to me. So I saw this little blue box on Facebook one day that said, who wants to lose up to 15 pounds in eight days? Of course, I was thinking it was a scam, some kind of bad diet, but I was also thinking me, I need to lose that weight. Um, so I got involved into a chat with three different people. One of those people was Cora Hoffman. <laughs> and I was here and her sister who Ellie, who is my direct upline. And uh, I was hearing about how this was going to help me lose weight, have energy, sleep great. And then they told me the price and I was like, Ooh, I'm going to have to wait on that. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was desperate to lose weight. So I put it on a credit card and um, so glad that I did in my first eight days, I lost nine pounds, went on to lose 16 pounds in a month. And I lost uh, ultimately now 38 pounds uh, with this amazing system. Um, I was going through menopause and then I gained and had some other medical stuff going on. I gained every single one of those pounds back. And it was only when I partnered with Jennifer last year that I was able to lose that. And I lost more than what I, than what I originally lost coming in. So I love Zingular. And mm -hmm. I am very passionate about these products and what it can do for you, mostly the community. I just remember that Cora and Ellie said, hey, you're doing so great with these products. You should sell this. And I said, hey, no, I never wanted to sell anything ever again because I've done multi-level marketing before. And for me, it always ran out of gas. But obviously, I never had the correct company until now. And, you know, like I said, I am just trying really hard to get my, or I just shouldn't say trying. It's totally going to happen that I'm getting back to executive. But what I've realized is that the same team that got me to executive the first time is definitely not going to be the same team that gets me there now, because I have people in my team. They are lovely people and I love on them when they want to be loved, but they're not doing much. So I realize I have to build a whole new team and it's happening no matter what. That's wonderful. Let me ask you, what did you do before? Like you've been here three years. Yeah. Did, were you working a job, you know, a regular job before I was. Zingular and then you quit that job? 
yep. or you know how, was, how did you get was, the pool of people to go to executive? This is a funny story. I was working as an optometric technician. Prior to that, I was always a server. That's what I really identify as. Like I was, a, you know, a waitress for twelve years and a bartender. And I did that for 12 years. And then I thought I better get a grown up job. So I went to school and I'm $25,000 in debt because I went to school and I'm not even doing what I you know, went to school for. And I remember I was working in a brand new building and somehow this is going to sound so bizarre. And I don't even know if I really had, I was diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning. So I found Zingular, I was selling Zingular I wound up being hospitalized two different times in the year of 2020. So I was home and I was like, I don't want to go back to work. I love selling Zingular. Like, how do I just do this? But, you know, I certainly wasn't making the money. Um, I got to silver manager. And one day I remember I was supposed to go back to work. And I remember I had that like feeling in my stomach and I was like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go back to work. I'm, I'm going to do this. And I thought, I barely knew Cora at the time. And I thought, well, if I'm going to call her. And if she answers the phone like right away, then that means I'm meant to do this. <laughs> so I called her phone. I swear to God, did not even ring. All of a sudden, I was like, I dialed on the number. And all of a sudden, I was like, hello. And I was like, Cora, I'm like, I'm supposed to go back to work today. Please tell me you believe in me. Please tell me you think I can do this. Like, I, I, I just... I don't want to go back to work. And I was only, I was a silver manager. A silver manager makes $964 a, a month. And I don't know about you all, but my bills were a whole hell of a lot more than $964 a month. And she was like, girl, I totally believe in you. What's the worst that could happen? If, if you don't think, you know, if you need to go find another job in six months, go find another job. But I think you can do this. So yeah, let's do it. So I called my job and I was like, I'm still not really feeling good. And I don't think it's like, fair to you guys. Um, you know, I totally like made, made up something, which I feel really bad to this day that I did that. I just wasn't confident enough to be like, Hey, I found another gig and I'm out. <laughs> but I, that's what I said to them. And then I wrote a, a letter of, you know, that I was resigning and I did make it work. You know, I was a silver manager and I just kept ranking up, ranking up and, and got myself all the way to executive. That's wonderful. One thing I um, wanted, because I, I follow you and you do a lot of lives and you mm -hmm. have like, you've branded yourself um, as, you know, being in menopause and I love your videos, like the one you did in Jamaica. Um, does that, did that come naturally or is that something you push yourself? Like, how did you get into consistently doing it? Cause you do, I watch you. Uh, I do. Um, Cora and, you know, we had a challenge, like a 90 day challenge. And I think some of you were in some of those things in the summer, but I know that Cora, like, uh, she was doing these power hours, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, you know, encouraged us to do reels. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like anything, you know, you, they always say like, at first, you know, embrace the suck at first, you, you know, you're not going to do well, it's not going to like, you're not going to get on camera and be like, Oh, blah, 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 you know, you're not going to be confident, you're not going to have the posture. So, you know, I look back at some of my reels, and I'm like, Oh, gosh, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I do them daily. And now I pick up my phone. Cause I know I usually do them like between 1130 and 12, I pick up my phone and sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to say. Like it just comes out of my mouth. Um, so it does come pretty naturally to me. Uh, I, you know, when I was younger, I don't think I'm as much like that. When I was younger, I always liked to stage. I was, you know, I always liked to sing. I always liked to be goofy. I always liked to it was very outgoing. You're an Aquarius, you know, like, mm -hmm. um, I, and I'm not really into astrology either, but, <laughs> but I know those traits, you know, like we, we like to be, um, we can put ourselves out there. I feel like the older I get, the more I'm being a little more, um, reserved, but when it comes to singular, I'll put myself out there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it gets me people. I mean, most people that I sell to these days are complete strangers. You know, I'm, I've been out of my warm market. I very rarely have anybody come back to me that says, 
you know, hey, what is it that you're doing? In fact, my friends, I think, think that I'm weird. So, but it's okay. I'm not doing it for them. <laughs> exactly. Okay. One thing I want to ask before I open it up, content. How do you come up with content? I'm a big copycat. I'll look at other people's menopause videos. That's how I do it. And I always know, I basically say always the same thing because I want to be like a commercial. I want to, you know, say basically the same things. And and then if I don't know what I'm going to talk about, sometimes I'll even chat GPT it like, this is what I want to talk about today. Give me some words to say. And then once I get rolling, it just, you know, happens. I can think on my feet. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. And with mm -hmm. practice, you know, you can too, like everybody right. can do it. And you put that in YouTube? Is that where you're getting, like you said, I just say, where do you, what do you like? Chat GPT, do you know about it? Oh, okay. There you go. That's, yes, I have heard about it. Okay. That's what that, what you're talking it's about changed there. my life. <laughs> it takes the guesswork out of everything. That is so, because a lot of times for at least myself, I believe others. I don't think I'm unique. Um, it's how do I come up with these ideas and be yeah. genuine and authentic? And, you know, how do, how do I do that? You, I run out of content. I don't know what to talk right. about, you know. The nice thing uh, about chat GPT, I would recommend that you all download it. You can tell them like, hey, my name is this. This is who I am. This is what I like. And I'm passionate about this then it gets to know you. So the next day you can just say, hey, I want to do you know, a reel on, on this. Give me some ideas. And you wouldn't believe how it will spit out like 50 million ideas. And I'm like, oh, I'll run with that one. Or I'll, like I said, I'll go to, I'll you know, uh, type in uh, menopause videos and I'll see what other people are talking about and see how many responses these people get. And I'll be like, okay, I'll speak on that. That is wonderful. That's, That's copycat. Yeah, I, I love that. You know, why recreate the the wheel or whatever? It's like it's there. The content is there. You have been a wealth of information, inspiration, um, and some really wonderful ideas. In closing, because it is six five forty five my time, I want to be keep it to thirty. But if anyone has any questions for Christine, please unmute yourself and um, ask away. Because I know people got questions. The everyone here is a go getter, and you've given us a lot to go after and and use. So, anyone have any questions? No, nope. I'll, I'll speak up. I always have questions. I always thank have you. Hi, Dawn. Hey, Christine. How yeah. are you? <laughs> so, Good. give us a rundown on how you get your new partner started. These two new girls that you've got going. How, what are you, what are you, the tasks that you're doing for them? What's working for you? Okay. I have to say, Jana, Lori, and Cora have created an onboarding system. So if you have access to any of their boards, I would highly recommend using this onboarding system because that has changed the game. Your eyes look so blue and so beautiful. I have to tell you that. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So we need to look into Cora's board, Stephanie. Are you? Mm -hmm. I, I see have those boards. Look at them because they do um, the core four videos and it's like five minute videos and it tells them what to do. And that's how you know if you have a go-getter or not. If she comes back to you and says, I finished those videos, what's next? Mm -hmm. And that's what both did. Then I gave them another series of videos. And now we're just, you know, it took the guesswork out of me saying, okay, and this is, you know, about your 120 and, and you know, you can't comment on the testimony page because somebody else might have, you know, in our area might have invited that person. Like it covers everything. So it took all that guesswork out for me. And now it just was able, you know, we're able to just focus on the chats that we have. Like my one girl literally has 52 chats going, the one that just hit manager. Wow. 52 chats. Wow. Now the other one, surprisingly, already has 1700 points. And guess how many chats she has? 
five. Like mm. that's insane. They they bought big, big bundles. So I'm hoping to get her more chats too, so she can hit manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check out those boards. Okay. She uh, it, Stephanie's on it. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Anyone else have any questions in closing? Christine, love you dearly. I knew you I would know, be a perfect fit. If anybody thinks about any other questions, and I'm an open book, and you guys can message me anytime. So feel free to message me. Love it. Oh, Scott, I want to tell you something really. Um, last year to get these, you and I talked about this, but last year to get my partners like to quick start, I was driving myself crazy with all these Facebook parties. And I'm not saying I won't do one again, but it was so nice to not have to do a Facebook party for these two ladies. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yep you just keep different suggestions kind of mm -hmm. moving around depending on the person their network you know and where they are I too yeah, have absolutely. not had a lot of people that I'm not dragging like with the rope pulling you yeah. know to do it and, and that is tiresome so I love your mindset anything else Steph because I you unmuted oh no I just was uh, just, you know, when Christine brought that up. So that's so awesome. I was going to say, it's funny you brought that up too. I have, I stopped doing the, um, parties. Like that's what got me like crazy. I was going crazy. I mean, that's what got me to founders club, but yep. I, I told you I wasn't having the success that I was having. So I stopped doing them. Well, Andra, I forgot her last yep. name, but you know, Andra and then oh, yeah. um, Freddie's new girl, Michelle, they, their whole teams, they're all blowing up from the new Facebook party that I put together. It's like a more classy, more clean version of it. Anyways, I don't think it's the version. I think it's just their people are having success and they're burning. They're like, I just got a message earlier today. And then another message from someone under Andra who was like, hey, I heard that, or no, under Michelle, I heard Michelle's blowing up her business because she's doing your party. Will you send it to me? I'm like, what? And then um, Andra just messaged me. She's like, I just got two of quit my quick starts. And she messaged me like 10 days ago uh, and said, can I have your yeah. board? I'm going to start using it. And she didn't think she had success from the parties, but now she has two quick starts. So I'm like, okay, I yeah. need to start doing some. So I think it like ebbs and flows of what is working I agree. for you then might not work now. And then you have to try something not new, but what is someone else doing that might be old that's doing new? Like, so yeah. we're going to try this onboarding. I'm going to get that in boards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're all going to do gonna that. Love it. I'm going to go back to doing some parties too, I think. Just, I'm going to yeah, do it I mean, all. Do do whatever you have to do to do get them all. there. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying I won't do a Facebook party, but it was just nice not to have to. Yeah. This time around. Yeah. It's if it's organic it really like it's that. Well, I think, you know, the Facebook parties, I talked to Amy about them today. You know, it also gets your people out of their comfort zone with a more, with a, with a more smaller, with a smaller group too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so True. that's a way to kind of ease your new distributors in or somebody that's thinking about being a distributor in a little just intimate group. So, you know. So true. Just remembering that it's a tool. Right. Yeah. It's a tool, but yep. onboarding is so important. Yeah. And if you have a system that's working, we've got to be using that because we don't yeah. have one. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be in yeah. there. Check out those videos. That's what I did. I onboarded myself. So I knew what these videos were. So I knew what to tell my people. So check it out. Yeah. I will get that in there. And then we'll all onboard ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We have to onboard ourselves. We do. It's like going through Klarna, which I've never <laughs> done, but it's just oh like my a gosh. Road map. Now, now yeah. I'm on to a firm. <laughs> There you go. I with oh, Klarna. oh, 
Well, thank you so much um, for jumping on and sharing with our team this evening. And um, who are you rooting for for the Super Bowl? Because I know you're a football girl because we've talked yeah. about it. I'm sorry, but Chiefs all the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, your location. We give you the grace. We know you're in PA, so we get it. Well, anyway. also I have a, you know, I have a love for the Kelsey brothers. You know, I just, I, I'm a, I'm a Philly fan. So that's where I am. And Jason Kelsey is, you know, my favorite player. So I have to root for the Chiefs. So, and I love Andy Reid because he used to be the coach of the Eagles. Oh, there you go. Well, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a sea of red, sure. and I guarantee it'll be a great game. Thank yep. you all for jumping on tonight. And Thank um, you for having special me. thanks to Christine. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Good night, Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Yes.